Hey, what's going on guys? John Shea here. So this tutorial, um, I actually wanted to show you how I use a program called Euphonic. Um, I believe that's how it's pronounced. I wish I discovered this uh, free free website sooner. It's basically a awesome post-production um, tool that you can use for your podcasts or music or whatever the case. So what you're going to want to do, first off, you're going to want to head over to this website here. I'll just highlight it. It's spelled A-U-P-H-O-N-I-C. And first off, you're going to want to create an account. Um, I'm going to assume, you know, that's pretty straightforward. So, you know, create an account and once you're at that point, you can really follow along with me the rest of the way here. So from here, what you're going to want to do is this essentially makes things very easy for Sorry, I'm uploading a video here. This thing's this makes uh, things very easy for actually um, adding intros and outros as well as improving the audio quality on your show. So what you're going to want to do when you get started with this is you're going to want to first off integrate any of the services that you're using. So let's say that you've got a Libsyn account. Um, you can set up any of these external services with Phonic. Uh, well, actually. Here I highlighted the whole thing. Sorry about my mini box there, but um, you can basically set up any of these systems for um, for use with uh, Phonic. So what I've done is archive.org. Uh, this one here in the middle. Let me show you. I'm just gonna make sure you see it. Archive.org. This is a free website where you can essentially upload MP3 audio without any. Um, you know, any means to pay for it. Um, for those of you starting out, this might be a good option if you're maybe looking to save a little bit of money. I originally was using this system, Libsyn, which is probably the best media hosting out there for podcasts, but um, it costs like $15 a month. And what I was running into was bandwidth issues and, um, you know, trying to keep up with the amount of shows I was actually uploading versus the amount of bandwidth I had available for the month. Uh, I didn't want to spend like their top, I think it's like $70 or something or $75 for like the highest bandwidth one. And I wasn't monetizing my show and you know, I didn't have the audience enough yet to really be making enough money to decide to go with Libsyn. So my my suggestion when starting out, archive.org is a great way to, to start. I think um, Libsyn and Blueberry, I think have like free accounts. I don't really know how you can integrate this with YouTube. Um, I know with Amazon they start to charge you like over time and Dropbox obviously there are some limitations with um, volume there. I know as far as I know with archive.org the biggest thing is um, there were a lot of complaints I heard people would have issues with uh, you know <clears throat> I think it was um, actually uploading things to archive.org that made things kind of a hassle but uh, this system literally does everything very seamless for you so it's, it's awesome. So what I'm actually going to do is first off, we're going to create what we call a preset. So you're going to want to go up here to presets. I'm going to go here now, show you how this works. So let's say I was creating a brand new preset. Um, I'm going to assume uh, what you're going to also want to do. Um, I'm going to back up here just very slightly. Uh, if you don't have a Dropbox account, you're going to want to make one. Uh, it's just Dropbox.com, and you're going to need this in order to select your um, the actual intro and outro that you're going to be using for your show. So if we go to New Preset, uh, you're going to want to give it a name. And then what you can do is you'll see here it's I've got my Dropbox account linked to my own name. And what I can do is actually set up presets. So this will be like, let's say, you know, I have Voices of Marketing. So every time I upload a show, I'm regardless going to use my same intro. So what I can do is just select intro for, you know, VOM is Voices of Marketing. So I would select intro for Voices of Marketing. And then for the outro, uh, what I do is I actually go in. I don't have any of them because I've deleted them. But um, I can possibly make another tutorial on this. But I use a, a free program called Audacity. And I'll record a short clip of me talking. And then I will merge the same intro file because I use the exact same, you know, sound. And I'll merge that together and actually in include it in my outro clip. And then I upload it to my Dropbox, and that's where I select it here. So 
what I can basically do is if you watch my other tutorial regarding the Hangouts, you know, Google Hangouts, I'm taking my main MP3 interview from the Wondershare um, All My Two program, and then what I'm doing is just combining the intro from here and combining the outro that I recorded with Audacity, and I don't have to do any editing because my intro is automatically added as well as my outro right to the song, or the MP3 rather, not a song. <laughs> but um, let's go right into it here. So I'm going to browse through. Basically, we're going to have some pretty specific stuff in here. So obviously the artist every time probably is going to be the same. The track will obviously differ, so you can leave that blank. Um, the subtitle, you know, maybe this is something you can pre-fill as well as the genre in the year. Like if you have a podcast, maybe call the genre podcast the year, you know, 2013. Um, the cover image, you probably have like an image you're using for your show. So that's something that would be static that you'll use every time. You just want to fill out everything that's going to be used uh, every single time you go through this. Um, the URL to your website, um, you know, if you have any copyright information, a license URL. Um, tags, this is something you could pro potentially maybe leave static, but um, depending on what you decide to do, uh, I know archive.org will use these tags as well as the Euphonic system, and if people like decide to search for a related tag, like say they search for like SEO or something, that would show up in archive.org as well. Um, the next thing, and what I've been doing is by default here, in terms of the file name, I'll leave the I believe I leave the output file name blank here and I will when I name the title if we go back up here the oh, I'm sorry the title here let me draw this just so you know what I'm talking about the title here when I put this in that's what it's gonna name the actual episode so if we go back down I can leave this blank and it won't matter uh, I leave all these options by default except for the bitrate. Lately I've been turning it up to 192. Um, this will increase the file size, but if you're using a service like archive.org, this isn't really going to matter. If you're using something like Libsyn, um, it might be better to stay around like 112 or 128. Um, you know, because as you can see, like it kind of rates like the amount of space it's going to use based on the audio quality. So if you're going up to 320, you're really looking at a lot of space for that one episode. The next thing you're going to want to do is, it notes here, you know, register your service first. So in my case, I've already got, um, if you do add service, I already have archive.org here. So I'm just going to highlight this so you see. Archive.org is, is selected here and it just says, you know, the one file. So this means that um, anytime I use this preset, it's actually going to automatically um, go ahead and use my archive.org account. Um, next thing, I leave all these by default. I haven't really played with them, but you can, you know, set some options here. You might want to go through the Euphonic blog and read about some of these things, but you know, they've got uh, leveler, loudness normalization, filtering, noise and hum reduction. So basically they're automatically going to like detect your sound file and go through the entire thing and then make improvements and where they see fit, you know, if there was music or sound or talking, like they'll improve the entire uh, episode based on um, the content of your of your um, your episode. Uh, let me drag this down a little bit. When you're done, uh, obviously you won't see please correct the errors, but you're going to want to click save preset. And once that's done, let me scroll back up here. Here are all my options at the top left. And I'm going to go to productions. And let's assume that obviously now at this point you have a preset ready to go and you've got your intro and outro file. If we go to new production, What I can do is say, um, you know, I, I made one that didn't have an intro because I had already like made some edits to some of my files before I discovered this and I was adding the intro with, with uh, Audacity. Um, obviously now I, I pretty much everything I upload it says without intro. So if I select Voices in Marketing without intro, let me drag this over, you'll see by default here most of this information is already pre-populated. I think I actually for whatever reason Oh, I'm sorry. I actually want to do with intro. So here you can see I've already got my intro set. Um, I don't have a title because obviously the title I'll want to do is whatever the title of this interview or podcast episode is. The artist and the album I make the same. I'm going to want to put in the track 
um, podcast and year of the genre and here's the summary of my show the URL of my show uh, the tags obviously I'll fill those in and then the mp3 um, you know the bit rate I'll change I leave it in mp3 and then uh, the chapters I always leave this blank I don't modify any of this and then obviously archive.org is set as well as audio all the audio algorithms once I'm once I'm done uh, let me make sure you can see it I just do start production down here and that's basically all you need to do this will bring up a screen that says uh, you know we're uploading your file and it will automatically put it up on archive.org you'll have to leave the browser window open and based on your account being registered on here you'll receive an email from Ufonic and it will tell you once the episode is ready to go and let me give you an example go back to the top here so if we go to my productions here's uh, I'll do the one here I just published this actually how to get noticed by your favorite entrepreneur with Michael O'Neill so if I go into the second play um, you know the, the actual clip and I can take this URL and this is the URL that I'm actually going to use within um, this is what I'm going to publish in my uh, WordPress um, post that I create for each episode uh, that's probably something for another tutorial whether or not I don't know if John has included something for that but um, that's basically what you know this is going to be the the raw URL you're going to be able to use to you know for your podcast and it's going to give you all the information here and I've already got my intro and my outro and an improved entire uh, interview clip here ready to go so that's pretty much how you uh, use Euphonic if you want more information on this I would check out their blog they have a lot of great tutorials but I thought I'd make this video one just to kind of run through it real quick and give people an idea of how to set this up talk to you later